Hey guys, it's Lisa here from The Jaylee Life, and thank you for coming in for another video. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. That way you can get notified for more videos like this. On this video, I'm going to be sharing with you on how I make my charro beans. This came in as a request from one of my viewers. I just want to point out really quick that this is my version on how I make charro beans. I know there are plenty of versions out there in the YouTube world, but this is my version and I am very happy to share it with you guys. So let's get started. So these are the ingredients we are going to need. I have one pound of pinto beans, some cilantro, three Roma tomatoes, one large white onion, one whole jalapeno raw, four Frank's hot dogs, and we call them weenies, one eight ounce can of tomato sauce, some pepper and salt, garlic powder, ground comino, which is cumin, and one pound of smoked bacon. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to clean my beans. Um, they're pretty much cleaned already, but now if you get the beans from like one of those bins where you buy by the pound, you might wanna get those clean where you actually sit there and you kinda take out like all the ugly beans. Sometimes there's rocks stuck in it, but since this is a packaged bean, they're pretty much clean already. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to rinse them. Okay, so here we have a big large pot. I'm going to add the beans that I rinsed already. So these are the beans I rinsed already. Okay, so what I did here was I filled it up about halfway through with water. The beans are in there already cleaned and drained. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some spices. Some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder. Add some cumin. I'm gonna give that a stir. So now I'm gonna cook the beans. This whole soup should take you about two hours to cook, but I will show you along the way when you can start adding in the other ingredients and I'll tell you what to look out for in the beans. Are cooked you do not want to overcook the beans so they've been cooking for about 45 minutes and I'm gonna show you really quick see how easily it goes in and then what you want to do is you want to taste it now it's not too hard and it's not too soft which is just perfect because now we're gonna cook up the bacon and the onions and the hot dogs here and then we're gonna start adding in all the ingredients okay so you want to start with the bacon first kind of break it up a little bit all right now that the bacon is somewhat cooking you want to go ahead and add your hot dogs. Now look how I cut them up. Now make sure you don't cut them up too big because they'll plump when they cook and then you have these big old pieces of hot dogs floating in your beans. So this is how I like to cut them, just like this. You can slice them if you want and just make sure they're thin and not too fat. But this is how I like it. So you're gonna go ahead and add it. Do not take out the grease, leave the grease in there. You're gonna cook that up. And now you're gonna add your onions. This is how I cut up the onion. You wanna add some pepper, some garlic powder, and a little bit of cumin. Mm -hmm. 
So now we're going to add what we've been cooking over here, which is the bacon and onion mixture. Now, if you notice here, the water has kind of like evaporated. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this along with the bacon grease, just like that. Give it a stir. We're going to add our 8 ounce can of tomato sauce. Give it a stir. We're going to add just a little bit more water, so just fill up your little can. And now we're going to add more seasonings. jalapeno slices. You want to give it a taste? But once you added all the ingredients and your seasonings, you're just going to let it simmer and cook longer for about another 30 minutes to an hour. So all the flavors can mix and the beans can fully cook. Let's give it another taste. Perfect. Good. The bacon and the hot dogs and all that gives it so much flavor. And that's it. Just leave it there. And we'll come back and check on it. All right, so I put it to cook for 30 more minutes. And this is how it's starting to look, starting to thicken up a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a handful of cilantro leaves. Just don't put the, the stems. If a few fall in there, it's okay. And there you go. Those are the beans. So once you add the cilantro, you want to just cover it up, turn off the heat, and just put it off to the side, and it'll cook furthermore. All right, guys, so here's the end result. This is what it looks like when it comes out. I made some rice on the side, so I put some rice in it already. And this is how it looks, guys. It's really good, very flavorful. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.